Hello lovelies! Welcome back to another episode of DIY Tuesday. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's get on to today's project. Today, we're recreating this beautiful and easy hydrangea with some greenery centerpiece. Great for your wedding, your event, or any celebration. We've linked all the products we've used in the description below. We're starting with these beautiful hydrangeas. They are fluffy and will always be a great and affordable centerpiece option. Whether you got them wholesale or from your local flower shop, they will usually have lots of leaves. When you prep them, you can take out the leaves by using pruners or gently breaking them off. Wholesale hydrangeas also arrive with water picks to make sure they don't die. You can cut off the stem on top of the pick before prepping them. Hydrangeas need a lot of water. Letting them soak the water in your pail overnight will help them bloom better. Now that you have them cleaned off and soak them overnight, let's start arranging. The easiest way to arrange them is to pre-group them depending on how big you want them to be. Start by grouping them together. Be gentle with the stems with the smaller stems, like just right underneath the bloom. They tend to break off when forced. As you bundle them, you can move them around to make sure they look even. For the centerpiece, I use six to seven hydrangeas and place them in a five inch cylinder vase. If you happen to see some little browning or brown petals, you can gently peel them off, but make sure you do it gently and only on that actual stem or else you're gonna end up ripping the whole stem. Now that you have bundled them the way you like it, we can start taping them. Use a waterproof floral tape to tie them together. I usually do three tapes, one on top, just right underneath the bloom, three to four inches below, and then a last one just to hold all the stems together. Give the stems another fresh cut before putting them back in the pail while you prep the rest of the flowers. A diagonal cut is always a great idea to help them drink more water. Now, because you have taped the lower part of the stem, you can easily place the other bundles inside the same pail without them being tangled. Now we're ready to place them inside the vase. Remember that second tape that we put earlier? Cut just below that and not above. This will help the bundle keep its shape. You can cut the stems flush accordingly depending on how high or how low you want the centerpiece to be. To fill the vase with three quarters or half water, you can use the same water you had in the pail. Fresh water is always better, but if you're setting up at a venue or do not have access to a water source, your pail water will do. In this design, I cut the stems just an inch above the bottom of the vase. You can also wiggle it around and cut more if needed to find the right length for you. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure to cut underneath the second tape for the bundle to keep its shape. Now that the hydrangea bundle is done, we can add the greenery inserts. In this design, we used Italian Ruscus. To prep this, especially if you're setting up at a venue, pre-cut the stems. For this 5-inch cylinder with 6 to 7 hydrangeas, I've cut the Ruska stems about 5 to 6 inches each. For each longer stem, you can get 4 to 5 smaller stems. Clean up the tip of the Ruskas to ensure that they don't look chopped off. You can also shave off the bottom leaves for each stem since you will be inserting them into the arrangement anyways. You can store them in a bag and cool place for about 24 hours or it will get sticky or mucky more than that. Pull them back out when you're ready to add the final touches. Decide how many stems of greenery you'd like to use per arrangement. In the description below, we've included how to calculate and purchase them accordingly. Now you can start adding the stems and arrange how you'd like them to look like. If you happen to see some broken or browning leaves, you can gently rip them off. You can keep adding more leaves as you see fit. I'd like to add more around the bottom as well, just to add more depth and dimension to the arrangement. I think I'm good with this one. I'm pretty happy with how it looks like. Now let's talk about the tape. I understand you might be conscious about people seeing it. More often than not, however, when this is on the table with the rest of the flatware, the glassware, the candles, and everything else going on at the table, you won't really see through the stems much unless you closely look at it like what we are doing right now. However, I can understand that you might not appreciate this look with the tape showing. And I get that. So I'm sharing a quick tip on how to cover that up. You can prep your vases way ahead of time and tie a ribbon loop design along the bottom part. You can loop the ribbon around, make a simple knot, and loop it the opposite side. Keep repeating until you get the coverage you need. For this design, I'm only doing two loops and then tying a generic knot and cutting the ribbon to finish it off. This is also a great way to bring in your accent color since your flowers are all white with some greens. There you go, the ribbon loops hid the tape and also added some pop of color. Now that you're ready to transport and load them in your car, you can add a rubber liner before placing the vases. These liners will keep them in place the whole ride through. That's all for today, lovelies. Hope you enjoyed today's project. Send us your requests by sending us an email. 
All products and detailed steps are linked in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks lovelies, until next time, bye!